You know, Exelon is, is one of the premier T&D utilities in the industry. We serve over 10 million customers. When you think about why it's important, just by the nature of who we are, we're a leader in the industry. And I always like to say leaders need to lead. So one of the things when we think about where the industry is going, uh, very important for us to step forward. And we've got the size, the scale, the scope, the geographic reach. I think both from a, a technology standpoint, another standpoint, to be able to help drive the industry uh, forward. And you know, I, I think about the investments we're making with you know, research labs, others, kind of help the technology or technological advances we're going to need to be able to uh, fully achieve. You know, our goal is to be net uh, carbon zero or net emission zero by 2050. There needs to be some advancements in technology to do that. And we have the size and the scope to be able to start driving that um, as well. And then in addition to that, we're also investing locally through our foundation, through an initiative we call 2C2I, which is a climate change uh, investment initiative in local startups that are helping drive environmental sustainability. Yeah, I, I think you're, you're absolutely right. The, the industry certainly looks at Exelon to, to really uh, define how the industry uh, uh, should be acting and, and what they should be um, uh, investing. It's, it's really kind of the model utility, um, just not by sheer size, but complexity as well as uh, the significant investments that you're making towards decarbonization. So when we look ac across other utilities um, uh, in the U.S. And, and frankly, globally, Exelon always comes up as uh, um, really the kind of the, the premier name in terms of uh, other utilities, small and big, trying to model themselves uh, uh, against Exelon. Yeah, I appreciate that. And I think we have a, a very strong track record. Like, this is not something we've just started, but rather a journey that we've been on for a while uh, as well. One of the other positions where we are is when we think about the jurisdictions we serve, uh, you know, on the East Coast um, and also then in, in Illinois and Chicago, um, they're all jurisdictions that are very much committed to helping drive uh, climate policy. So we sit in a place where it's not just what we want to do, but it's what our customers, our communities, and our stakeholders are trying to drive us and drive the industry towards as well. And that alignment of policy um, along with our goals is just so important. Hard to, if you will, row against you know, the stream or row against you know, policymakers if they have different ideas of where we should go.